Hi, I'm Mike. I'm with my dad, Rich. We are going to be making pagach um, based on our his mom's, my grandmother's old style of cooking and recipes and things we coddled together from cookbooks. Um, pagach is a pizza-like um, Slavic recipe that uses cabbage as a filler. Go. Uh, and here's all of the ingredients you need to make the cabbage filling. Uh, you need uh, five pounds of cabbage. Uh, right now I'm going to be using seven. You need a half a, a half a cup of butter. Uh, I'll probably put in a little bit more since I'm a little bit over the uh, five pound recipe. Uh, salt and pepper. I throw in a little onion. The thing that will be important though is you're going to need a real sturdy pan because we're going to chop up the cabbage. We're going to soak it. Uh, we're not going to soak it. We're going to actually pull all of the liquid out of it by salting it. So we'll squeeze it. We'll get the liquid out. And then we put the butter, the onions, and the cabbage in the pot, and we cook it. All right, we're going to core. We're going to, okay, this is ready? Yeah. Okay, this is just prepping the cabbage. We're gonna, you know, just take outside the outside leaves. We're gonna cut it up so that we can put it into the food processor so we can chop it up real fine. So that's what we'll be doing. We're loading up the food processor with cabbage. We uh, learned that we need to use a smaller amount of cabbage in the food processor and not stick the wooden spoon in because it's not good to eat wooden shards of spoon. <laughs> we'll, we'll have enough opportunity, trust me. important to chop up the cabbage. Uh, either you do it by hand, but you got to chop it up pretty fine so that its consistency is kind of like that. So just that it's nice and fine so you can chop it up and you can get the water out of it. We're chopping up the onion when we have the food processor out. Usually I take the outside of the onion off before I cut it. <laughs> uh, I find it makes it easier. Dad has different tactics. Here is the consistency of the chopped cabbage. And what I'm going to do now is sprinkle two tablespoons of salt on it, mix it in, and just let it wait for a half an hour before I squeeze the water out of it. Here we go, the two tablespoons of salt. One, whoops, more than two. Whoa, that really doesn't make much of a difference. You put so much salt on this cabbage when you're done, it's gonna be just fine. I'm gonna mix it in and let it sit. And you're still gonna put salt on it when it's done anyway. <laughs> Go. <laughs> when you're on. All right. What are you doing? All right. Here's what I'm doing now. I'm getting the uh, cabbage that was soaking. I uh, I did stir it a couple times to get the salt through. Um, and what I'm doing now is I'm just taking it out and getting the moisture out of it. And it's really amazing how much moisture actually comes out. So I'll be doing this for a while. I actually do it twice um, so that we can get a lot of moisture out. Uh, and then the thing we'll do after that is start cooking it. All right, I've melted the butter. I have put the onions in there and I am going to uh, get them translucent. And then I'll add the cabbage. All right, now after adding the cabbage, I am going to be um, stirring this almost constantly for about 35 minutes until it gets uh, a light brown. And I do that over a medium to a low medium heat. I already did it. Are right, we gonna time it? I did. Well, I gotta do it for, I already said I gotta do it for 
35 minutes. 35 minutes? All right. All right, we are setting up for day two. And this is the dough part. We made the stuffing yesterday out of the cabbage. And now we are prepping some flour and getting things all set to go. Yep. So we're gonna make the dough today. Uh, the recipe actually is for a, uh, a full recipe. I usually cut it in half because I like a lot of cabbage inside of it. And you need egg yolks, yeast, milk, butter, sugar, salt, and flour. Uh, it does get messy, but uh, it makes a great dough, sort of like a calzone. So that's what I'm going to be doing, and I'll catch up with you in a little bit when I've done some of the mixing. So here we are. We're going to make the milk mixture, and I got lukewarm milk, and I'm going to be putting in the yeast and the sugar. So we mix that together, and we let that ferment. So this is the biggest tip. When you get your uh, milk and yeast solution, you add in your melted butter and your egg yolks, and you put that all in a bowl, and then you add the flour to it. I actually did the flour once and then added the liquid to it. That just did not work out well. So it's make sure you got the um, liquid uh, milk and egg and butter solution, and then you add the flour, and I added the uh, salt to that flour. And then you mix it together. And it does get a little messy. So this is what it looks like after you put in the flour. And uh, I use the wooden spoon to kind of mix it together. Um, like I said, it's sticky. So now we'll let it rise for about an hour. And then we will start finishing up the pagachi. And here we go. This is the raised dough. And my expectation is I'll get uh, three or maybe four pagachas out of that. Uh, let's see how it goes. Looking forward to doing the next part, and you'll find that I'm going to be using a lot of flour to make this dough work. Okay, here it is. Uh, I am going to try to get four out of uh, this. I got uh, broke it up into four pieces. And as you notice, I'm still using a lot of flour because it is a very difficult uh, dough to work with. Um, so uh, that's what I'll do, and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done rolling it out. So here we, oops. So here we are. Uh, I rolled out the dough, and I have now uh, put it on half of it, and I'm going to fold it over like a calzone. That's the cabbage on half of it, and uh, we'll see how it we'll see how it looks in a little bit. This is what the uh, pagachi looks like before you put it in. As you notice, it does look like a calzone. Um, so that gets put in the oven and cooks up. That's it. Here we go. This is it browning up on the top. Um, as I mentioned before, you have to put it on the bottom. It was on the bottom for eight minutes. And then I moved it to the top for the final uh, five or six. Looks like this may come out a little bit sooner than six minutes, though. This is looking good. And here is our completed pagach. Uh, it looks great. Um, again, um, I got to do three more, but uh, I'm ready to get this ready for Christmas Eve. And when you do that, you'll get some butter, you'll get it browned, and then you reheat these in the oven at 350. You soak it up with butter, you put the butter on top of it, and then you salt it. Can't say it's terribly healthy. But boy, is it good.